Hello everyone, this is Zenia here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to change the clock's color in Affinity Photo using an HSL adjustment. Affinity Photo has several ways of changing the color, and other ways to use a color replacement brush tool. But in today's tutorial, we are going to use an HSL adjustment, which is located here, and is non-destructive and works well on uniform colors, like the woman's dress on this picture. If you want to use the same picture, I will add a link for it in the description below. Here in the HSL adjustment, we have different colors that we can target. So we are going to target the red. And now it gives us a range of color that we can apply the adjustment to. And if we want to be more precise, we can take the picker and sample a color from the woman's dress. So now that we have the color targeted, we can adjust it with the sliders. Now we are going to move the U slider and bring it to the right until the color of the dress is purple. But as you can see, the purple color got applied not only to the dress, but also to the woman's body. So we need to remove it with the paintbrush tool. So we select the paintbrush tool. Set the width to 200. Opacity and flow to 100%. And hardness to around 70-75. So we need a hard brush, but a brush that still has a smooth pixel transition. And then we go ahead and we paint black on the woman's body on the HSL adjustment. And as you can see, that remove the purple from the body. And then as we go along, we can lower the brush size. So we press Ctrl Alt, the left mouse click, and then we drag the mouse to the left. And then we paint on the second hand. And then we paint on the leg. So now that we have applied the mask on the one's body, if you want, we can go to, back to the HSL adjustment and adjust the color again. And the HSL adjustment will be applied only to the dress and not to the woman's body. So you'll learn how to change the dress color in Affinity Photo using an HSL adjustment. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Photo tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.